Good morning, good morning guys. We're back at it. I've got so many projects that are kind of like half finished right now and we're starting another one today and we're gonna be installing some real nice Milgard windows. Not sponsored by them, bought them through Lowe's, but we got the man, the myth, the legend. We met him at a veg fest. He just came up and he said to me, hey, if you need help with doors and windows on your house, Holla. I got you. So we got Mr. AZ Ultra Runner. What's up everybody? On the YouTube, local resident here. All you do is doors and windows and specifically more higher end type stuff. Yeah, anything big and custom, it's my jam. It's your jam, that's it's why we jam. got him here. We got the big pivot door that's gonna be going in. We got some big ass windows. So we'll kind of go through the process of how we're doing this with ICF. Um, and we're gonna get these windows looking just beautiful. Real nice. Real nice. Real nice. Absolutely. Let's get started. guys here we go with the window installation so we are applying some of the peel and stick flashing across the the bottom of the window and across the sides and then from there we're making our marks uh, for the frame of the window so that when we set the windows in there um, we know that it is going to be uh, vertically plumb So when I ordered these windows, I thought they were just going to be set in from the outside, uh, but Ramon wanted to actually set them within the actual bucking themselves because um, when we buck these windows out, I guess there's so many different ways of doing it uh, with ICF that there wasn't really anything to screw into on the outside. Um, so we just had to take off all the nailing fins and then we can just set the window uh, right in the opening. And the thing that actually gave us the most amount of difficulty, uh, the bucks were fine, and or the uh, the frames were fine in terms of the dimensions. Just that the that peel and stick stuff, it doesn't stick really good to foam. So as we we're trying to set the window in, it just kind of peeled back on itself. Um, so that was actually the thing that gave us the most difficulty uh, throughout the entire process here. Now I had a lot of questions on Instagram about uh, most of the windows being picture windows as opposed to being operable. So there are a number of operable windows in the house, especially, well, you need them in the bedrooms for egress, but throughout most of this living space here, um, they're, they're mainly picture windows. And one of the main reasons is because picture windows are significantly cheaper than operable windows. Um, I forget how much these big picture windows were, maybe about four or 500 bucks, but if you wanted something that was operable, that window could go up to $2,000 pretty easily. So I tried to choose operable windows in positions where we could get cross flow uh, through the house. Um, so just kind of making the best use out of the operable windows as opposed to just getting them all to be operable and just spending the extra money on it.
So once we got all the windows set, which we set all 18 windows in a day, um, Ramon comes back and uh, basically finishes off the foaming and also the, uh, the cock on the outside. So he trims away the shims here with an oscillating tool and then just uses a, a knife just to kind of cut back any of that foam there because he's going to be applying some caulk to it. So we just got to make sure that that is going to be a nice smooth surface. And once that window is caulked up, then that window is essentially waterproof at that point. And the rest of the waterproofing will be done when the stucco goes on. So Ramon did this around all the windows on all the sides, but I just wanted to give you a quick look of how that looks. Very nice. Uh, I like it. Awesome, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We got the, the roof starting tomorrow. I've already done the soffit and fascia, uh, so you'll see a video on that very soon, and we will catch you on the next video. Talk to you soon. Peace.